What's up, Calc Gang? Welcome back to Dynamics. So let's look at this problem here. So we have a particle that's traveling along this parabolic path, and it's given us four things, or three things. So it gives us that at time is equal to two seconds, our position is eight meters along the x direction, our velocity in the x direction is eight meters a second, and our acceleration in the x direction is four meters per second squared. So we give it this graph, and it's told that we need to find velocity and acceleration at that moment of two, t is equal to two seconds. So let's get started, right? So what are we given? So we're given x, x dot, and x dot dot. And so this is position, velocity, and acceleration in the x direction. And if you want to find velocity and acceleration, we're going to need to find y dot and y double dot. So just like that. So these are our goals, right? This is velocity in the x direction, and this is acceleration in the y direction. I mean, this is velocity in the y direction. So our goal is to find these. So let's start with y dot first. So what is this going to be equal to, right? Well, we're given a uh, y, right? y is equal to 0.25x squared. So of course, it's going to be the derivative of this, both with respect to t, so we need to make sure to use the chain rule. So we're going to take the derivative as if we're doing it with respect to x, so that 2 is going to come down, and we're going to get 0.5x, but then we're also going to get x dot, because we're doing chain rule, because dx dt, right? So let's plug in what we know, right? So y dot is equal to 0 0.5. We know our position at time is equal to 2 seconds is 8 meters, so x is going to become 8 meters. And then we know x dot, which is our velocity in the x direction at 2 seconds, is out another 8 meters. So we're going to get 64 divided by 2. We're going to get that y dot is equal to 32 meters per second. Okay, cool. So now we need to find uh, the magnitude of the velocity, right? So we have y dot and we have x dot. Uh, which is 8 meters a second. So if we want to find velocity, we're going to have to do uh, 32 squared plus 8 squared. Take the square root of that to get the magnitude. And we get that velocity is equal to 33.0 meters per second. Okay, so we found velocity. Now let's find acceleration. So I'm going to start that here. So again, we're going to start with our y dot. But then we're going to do second derivative, right? So let's just start with this, right? y dot is equal to 0 0.5x x dot. So now we're going to have to do a product rule, right? Because we have x and x dot next to each other. So let's start by taking y double dot. Let's start with this first x and then keep this the same, right? So it's going to become 0 0.5. And then this is going to become x dot. And then this x dot is also going to stay. So we're going to have two x dots. And now we're going to do chain or product rule again. So then it's going to become 0 0.5. We're going to keep that x the same. And then this x is going to become x double dot. So let's simplify this a little bit. y double dot is equal to 0 0.5. This is going to be x dot squared plus 0 0.5 x x double dot. All right, so now we have this. So let's go ahead and do, let's plug in our numbers, right? This is going to become 0 0.5, so x dot is 8, so we're going to take 8 squared plus 0 0.5. We know that x is equal to 8, and x double dot is acceleration is equal to 4. So then let's do the math on this. We're going to get that this is equal to 48. So now we have y double dot and x double dot. So again, we're going to have to find the magnitude. This going to be the square root of 48 squared plus uh, 4 squared, right? Because this is our acceleration in the x direction. And then this is going to give you acceleration is equal to 48.2 meters per second squared. And there we go. So those are our two answers. So yeah, pretty simple again. Just taking some derivatives. Not too bad. Uh, if you have any more questions, uh, feel free to check out my playlist, and I'll have a whole lot more dynamics questions. So I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace.